New tonight, accusations of misconduct have surfaced as political enemies go to court over a convicted killer's future. Thanks for joining us at 6 o'clock. I'm Holden Krewicki. A hearing that could potentially free Lamar Johnson will go forward next week as planned, even as the Missouri Attorney General accuses the St. Louis Circuit Attorney of hiding evidence. The I-Team's Christine Byers is here with both sides and what happens next? Christine. Holden, just hours ago, the judge in this case told attorneys that a jacket found with gunshot residue can be part of the case if they meet several criteria. But he didn't sanction Kim Gardner or her team as the AG's office had requested. The infighting began Thursday afternoon after the attorney general accused Gardner of withholding evidence of gunshot residue on that jacket. Schmidt says it would likely prove Johnson's guilt. That jacket was found in Johnson's car during the investigation into the death of Marcus Boyd in 1994. The AG's office says it found out about the gunshot residue test when it called the crime lab looking for unrelated records. In a filing today, Gardner's office fired back, calling Schmidt's accusations politically motivated. Her office did admit, however, its failure to disclose the gunshot residue test was inadvertent. Gardner's special assistant prosecutor also wrote the report in question, quote, is unimportant because the jacket was not even used in the crime. The judge in the case, David Mason, did not allow reporters inside his hearing this afternoon. He wouldn't give a reason for closing the meeting as the law requires. We will be in court Monday morning for Johnson's next hearing. To read today's filings for yourself, go to KSDK.com.